Making friends is difficult, but rewarding. However, losing friends is the risk we take whenever we begin a friendship. Friendships change over the course of life and not always for the better. So when a friendship does come to an end, here are a few things to remember. Number one, it's okay to grieve the loss and accept your emotions. Something unexpected happens when a close friendship ends. It feels like a genuine loss. According to relationship counselor, Victor Sander, the grief that we feel at the end of a friendship is extremely similar to the grief we experience at the end of any key relationship, like a family member or a romantic partner. It's normal to feel regret, sadness, and anger. Without your friend by your side, you may not know what to do with yourself. That's why you should take time to grieve the loss and accept your emotions. As you work your way through your emotions and figure out how to process everything, another thing to remember is number two, letting go of resentment will help you. Our first reaction to someone leaving or betraying us is to get angry. It's an understandable reaction, whether a friendship ended suddenly or because of a chain of events. You may feel anger mixed in with a bunch of other emotions. Don't let this feeling drive your actions. Try to avoid talking about them to your other friends or taking actions that you know will hurt your ex-friend. Feeding into that instinctual reaction can end up making you even more miserable. You may even learn to resent yourself for the end of the friendship. According to psychotherapist Amanda Ann Gregory, resentment is an emotional response to something you perceive as wrong, an insult or injury. If you resent your friend, it means that something needs your attention. Once that friendship has ended, that resentment that you felt no longer serves a purpose. There's nothing to fix. So you can breathe a little easier and work through the emotions you feel about them. You can put that energy towards other areas in your life or simply grieving. Number three, this is a time for reflection and learning. In our lives, there are certain events that can teach us a lot about ourselves if we let them. An ending friendship can be a treasure trove of information According to psychologist Pierre Vermesh, introspection allows us to see things more objectively. When a friendship ends, being introspective can help you see things objectively, not blaming anyone, but coming to an understanding of how exactly things came to be as they are. If a friendship has ended, now is a good time to ask yourself questions about it. If this person drove you away, find out what it is about them that created tension. What were the red flags in you or your ex-friend that could have helped you avoid this situation? What are some ways you could have improved yourself? Is there something you were doing that was counterproductive? It sounds like the beginning of a rabbit hole. So as you look into it and reflect on everything, remember that you, like all people, will continue to learn and grow over your entire life. If you feel like you may have been the person at fault, don't beat yourself up over it, learn from it. Number four, no one can look after you like you. Human beings require social interaction. According to psychologist William Bukowski and colleagues, without friendships, we may struggle to deal with stress, to grow as people and fail to seek out new experiences. But just because we need friends doesn't mean we are completely incapable of doing these on our own. Friendships have their benefits, but no one can know what you need better than yourself. If you've just ended a friendship with someone close, do the things that you like to do on your own. Now is also a great time to chase passions and do the art or writing you've always wanted to do but never had time for. There is a lot of fun to be had outside of friendships. For now, focus on self-care and the things that make you happy. And number five, you are capable of moving on. Most people have more than one friend, but that doesn't mean that the friendship you had is replaceable. Maybe you just clicked with this person in a way that you haven't with anyone else. You may not get this friendship back, but the potential for you to have something even better is always there. According to relationship therapist, Jamie Waxman, if this friendship really has to end and you wanna move on, it may be beneficial to get a sense of closure. Bearing in mind all of the reflecting you've been doing, the emotions you've been dealing with, and the resentment you've let go of, you may finally be in a good enough position to send them one final message or meet in person to tell them how you felt and to express what you've learned from your time as their friend. It doesn't have to be dramatic or aggressive. The best closure is the kind that comes peacefully. Wish them well and continue your journey without them. Remember that no one is replaceable and that includes you. There are so many people out there for you that you might not have met yet. If you want to be our friend, click subscribe. Good luck, Psych2Goers. You've got this.